What's up everybody, this is Autobotic97 back with another review and today we're going to be taking a look at something I've been looking forward to for a very very long time. Today we're going to be taking a look at at the Transformers Warper Savitron Trilogy Kingdom Voyager class Optimus Primal. And this is a really terrific looking figure here and here I have him in his gorilla mode. He does he does come back as the robot mode, so I decided to start off this in gorilla mode. And the gorilla mode is really, really awesome here. And uh and he has two positions here, which I'll show you uh, just a little bit. Now but in terms of the sculpting here, really, really, really nice here. You got the nose here, you got the mouth, and you got and you got the texture hair hair detail right there which is which feels almost kind of realistic right there and even the chest right here even the chest of the gorilla mode is really really nicely detailed nicely painted and even his gorilla feet is really nice and the and the hair detailing really continues to shade and uh, and this is where actually the most of the discrepancies lie for me in this in his beast mode. Where as you can see here, you got the you got the robot mode foot and, the, and his robot mode knees right there on his back, and this butt butt flap is really 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 unsightly. But uh, but the hair detail really really con nicely continues. And I forgot I forgot to mention he has also. He has iris, his painted iris here on the eyes at the side. But he's really kind of, in this face sculpt, he's really kind of grumpy at the time. But, now like I said, he has positions, two positions here actually. One is this is this position where he actually, in his beast mode, he, he actually spent most of his time upright. In his upright standing position here. But before we get into the other positioning here, let's take a look at the articulation for a second. The head is on a swivel joint here. You can move up and down and left to right. It can look side to side, but not much. His arms rotate all the way around. They do move in and out. And don't want to move the, the swivels here on the arm just yet. Then we got bend at the elbow. You got. Fing op opening fingers, which is really cool, and he does have some wrist swivels. Is a little, he has a little bit of a waist swivel, I think. Then, then he can move forward, and back. Only he has he can move up and down, and the foot can tilt tilt down, but then that, that's gonna make him unstable a little bit. But. Overall, an awesome looking beast mode here. But uh, even though I have a, a little bit kibbly on the back, it's very much like his uh, a masterpiece version, much like his MP32 self. He has the kibble all in the back of the room, especially on the back here. And uh, and also, he has butterfly, forward butterfly joints here, which is really, really nice. Now get him into the natural gorilla looking position. First thing you want to do, you want to tilt the head up and take the arms, rotate them it's forward, forward here, and then flip this butt flap out of the way and where you can clearly see his robot mode, robot mode legs right there. And as you can see, these, these legs are double jointed. You have to peg this tab on the inside, uh, let me show you right here. On the inside of the knee, of the knee right there, where you have to basically have to straighten them. I'm mostly gonna mostly going back and going to robot mode. Anyway, just straighten these legs out and peg them in to the knee pad and position the legs like so. And be careful of the double jointed itself. Then you have to you have to make sure the knee actually stays attached and legs straighten up like this and 
and that will cover most of his most of his back most of his knees and hold this down use the butterfly joint for the arms and then rotate the fists around rotate the fists around straighten it out somehow and then here he is Optimus Primal in a, in more of a natural looking gorilla stance right there and which is really nice again it's very much like his mp32 self but uh, where you can we had to unclip his le entire leg assembly and shift it down and shift the legs down like this and this is where you could truly appreciate how realistic this gorilla mode look looking real really is. I mean, that's what the, that's what the Beast Wars guy, I mean the Kingdom line is going for here. They're still giving us the G1 looking alt modes here for, for the G1 characters, but they look, but they're also making trying to looking the realistic looking beast modes for the Beast Force guys and I do have Black Arachnia on the way so stay tuned for her review as well and, uh, and this is amazing like I said you can really really appreciate how much Hasbro has put in, into this figure here and in terms of the other articulation here in the head now it is able to move side to side which is really 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 cool and and as you can see another under discrepancy that I have besides the this besides the knee joints here shown in the robot for the robot mode are these two pieces right there which which is which is a little bit ugly right there in th at this moment if in gorilla mode but uh, it still is gonna look really great here now to transform him into his robot mode or should I say Optimus Primal, maximize, because he is a leader of the Maximals. So what you want to so try, so not to try, so not to maximize him into his robot mode. First thing you want to do, you want to take the foot sections here and you fold them down. And and unfortunately, his gorilla move feet doesn't fold in much like the masterpiece, much like the masterpiece counterpart. But. I, but they can really work as a heel support. Take the butt flap out of the way and strain out the knee joints here. Strain out the legs. Then what you want to do, you want to take this section here, open this up and strain out the legs like so. And very much like the very much like the original figure and the show, rotate the entire waist around, just like so. And what you want to do then take this entire section here, rotate this around, and there's a little slot right there on the back. That this is going to peg into right there. And don't peg this like this. If you want to leave it like this, you can. Here, but we'll show you why. I'll show you why. Here, let's straight, straighten out the arms. Full, rotate them down. As you would do, straighten out the head. Then take the the these the shoulder shoulder pieces. And again, very much like the original fit show, very much like the show, and rotate the fist around. So when they're in their proper natural position for the robot mode, and and what you want to do for the head, take take the arms together like this and fold this entire assembly up, and there's, and as you can see, there's his robot mode head right there, and what I told you about what this the blue piece here, first uh, we'll we'll take them on later first. But first, you want to rotate the gorilla head and rotate this all the way up to the front. And take this piece here 
is on a swivel joint. And rotate this around so we can reveal his robot mode head. And then what these blue pieces are, are basically his Mega Blasters. Which, uh, yeah, which are really difficult to pull out, but once you... I'll decide to pull, leave them off for now. But they're really, really tough to get 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 out. Here, but, but trust me, they're really, really great. Then fold them down, then take this piece and fold them around to rebuild the robot mode chest. And then clip it in. And clip it in back. And there's Primal. And there's Optimus Primal in his robot mode. Pull this piece down. And there you go. There is Optimus Primal fully transformed in his robot mode. And my god, this figure is really, really great. And I'm one gonna argue that the MP32 is the definitive version of Optimus Primal that we're ever, ever gonna get. I'm still not I'm still not gonna argue with that, and I do agree with, with this statement. But for the ridiculous amount of fraction of the price, you get a very much of an accurate representation of the character that we're ever gonna get. I mean, this just screams the OG Beast Wars, Optimus Primal. All the way around you to the, the section here, and again, lift this up out of the way. And and taking a look at the details here. First of all, that sculpt, that face sculpt is excellent. Really, really excellent. Really captures his original look. And you got, like I said, you got the Mega Blasters here, right, on the side of his head. The sides of his head right there. And, and the chest piece, definitely, definitely the OG Primal. But, but the only complaint that I have for the robot mode is that the chest plate is a little bit flat. But, but for but for considering the how how awesome the gorilla mode looks, I can give it a pass. And again, you get the red and white paint here on the biceps right there, and his arms or his robot mode arms are basically the same as the gorilla mode arms. And and definitely and definitely there's some some discrepancies right there. Here, where this should, these should be a red, much like the knee pads right there, and these should be silver. It should be silver instead of blue, and even his gun, even even his mega blaster shouldn't be blue as well. But, but for the, but for, but for this, but for, for the Voyager figure, I can understand that. But he definitely, but I, he he looks like a, I'm like I'm holding like an, a miniature MP32 here. Because, like, not only he includes his Mega Blasters here, where when you come around here on the forearms here, you can see there's a little slot, there's a little push button right there. And when you push it all the way up, it reveals his plasma cannons. And he has both, and he has on both arms. So let me show you here. And again, say push it from here. And then, and boom, there you have Primal with his, with all, with two of his weapons here. And I love the fact that they also uh, lift it up, up here, up and down, and they hinge it on the way like so, which is, I love, which I really like it. Now, in terms of, now in terms of the additional accessories here, with, which are which are not integrated into his body, are his cyber blades. Yeah, because that's what they were called on the sh on the on the Beast Wars show, and he and these were the these were the swords that he used in in the very second episode of Beast Wars after Dinobot left the Predacons and challenged challenged Primal in t for the leadership of the Maximals here. Now, as you can see. Now, in terms of the implementation here, when you have finger open, fist open or closed, you can definitely hold his swords right there. Do the same thing on the other side. And 
and boom. There you have Primal holding his swords really nicely. And he now he's ready to fight Dinobot. Now for his articulation here in the robot mode here, the head is on a swivel joint. It can definitely look left to right and lit up a little bit of up and down. And like I said, the arms of the robot mode are basically the same here for the gorilla mode. And which again, very accurate to the show model. And he can still use the butterfly joint here that we use for the gorilla mode. And like I said, the art like I said, the arm articulation, the bicep swivel, bend at the elbow, wrist swivel. Has the same thing, same thing for gorilla mode. And he has a waist swivel, which is really nice. And can get the arms out of the way. And this time they do move in and out. Like I said, even with the shoulder pad, even with the shoulder pad connected, you could still get the hinge joint right there. Which is put with some what's a merry time of mine. But again, now moving on to the hips. Now they can move forward and back. And be careful of the paint chipping right there. Right there. Uh, I don't know if you can see it there somehow. Uh, ah, there it is. Actually, you're very mindful of the paint chipping right there on the white of the white. And I'm really, really sorry if you cannot see it. That definitely looks like Sid from Ice Age. Which is really, really awkward here especially where his scratch right there looks like and like I said the legs can move back and forth in and out very tight thigh swivel and again double jointed knees the very double jointed knees again and they can, they also bend like this for the transformation or even for the robot mode as well as the gorilla mode and he does have some ankle tilt and the piston joint right there and where you can articulate the foot up and down and again very accurate to the show show model so he can definitely hold some really really nice poses here now in terms of the collector card that I, that I have got here is for especially the fate card here that with these kingdom figures are coming with with all of the voyagers here as well as the leaders as well as the luxus except for the core and except for the core class ones i've got optimus prime here and as you can see he's standing almost like kind of like triumphant right there and there is the arc flying arc flying down to earth and and there's this Autobahn Transformers Kingdom logo and it's a holographic and this this one is a holographic foil and when you open it up it reveals his fate where where Prime actually is dead in the alternate universe where we did got a repaint of the Earthrise Optimus Prime figure from from not not too long ago it's the really same thing right there, and as you can see, like I said, Optimus is, is Optimus is dead here in the empty voids of space. So who? So it's gonna be if if this is gonna be the spoilers here for the Kingdom show, which I don't think I'm gonna watch honestly. But still, it's still good inclusions here nonetheless. But as for my final thoughts for Optimus Primal, he really, really is a terrific figure. I mean. And like I and I was about to say that that uh, he is my uh, first Optimus Primal figure that I ever got. I never owned the a masterpiece version of Optimus Primal, uh, or even any, every other masterpiece Beast Wars guys. I mean, and they all look good. They all look good. Primal, Primal, Cheetor, Dinobot, and Megatron, and Black Arachnia, and uh, Tigatron are the ones that have been released so far. Now, now that we're getting the m affordable versions of them at the uh, these at this main line. I got to say I definitely recommend this figure. And if you do have the ma if you if you do have the masterpiece Optimus Primal figure, 
you can also can really can compare him with this guy or if you or if you are a big fan of the transformers in general or even of and even of beast wars i definitely recommend this guy so all that being said this has been the video review of Transformers War by Cybertron Trilogy Kingdom Voyager Class Optimus Primal. Thanks for watching.